Ultima's about to learn not to mess with siblings after this one. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for the last episode of Final Fantasy 16. If you hear a little bit of sadness in my voice, there might just be a smidge because I hate ending games. I do, I just, I love and put my heart and soul into games. You hear me say this all the time, but with that, it does make the ending of it, the story just that much harder. However, I will say that if you've been watching some of my videos, you might have heard me mention that I plan on doing the trials whenever the DLC comes out. And so I'm kind of like, while this is the end of the main mission, it's not the end of our time in Valacia, not the end of our time in FF16, because there are whisperings of DLCs and stuff. So you guys know I'm gonna pick that up when it does come out. So with that, I don't see why we have to wait any longer. Let's just dive into the final act and I think the final chapter or two chapters of the game. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I know this was a long one. I know we had, what, 22, 23 episodes um, and your time is so valuable to me. So thank you for all the support, all the comments, insights. You guys give some incredible insights as to the background of the game or the gameplay itself or just little tidbits along the way that make my playthrough so much more enjoyable. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for being here for all of this, and I hope you guys enjoy this ending. I'll be talking a little bit about my thoughts and feelings at the very end, but I also kind of scattered them throughout my playthrough as well. So if you're um, curious about my thoughts on a particular scene, by all means, please comment below what you'd like me to maybe answer in the comment section. So yeah, let's just get going. With that, I hope you guys enjoy. And whoosh. It's time back to their origin oh okay awoken from its slumber beneath the foundations of twin side this corrupted construct now looms over the twins it forms a bruise on the very heavens oh here we go i don't know if i'm ready for this everybody's seeing us off <laughs> You're at it. Here we go. I don't know if I should have done. Oh, maybe I should have done an outfit change. Clive, if you see my dad up there, oh. tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> oh, dang it! I'm gonna cry tell this him. morning. He'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. No. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. We'll see. <laughs> Aww. Should she hug him too? <laughs> I do like that about her. I'm a hugger, so I get it. And Dion patted her back. So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? <laughs> Still bothers me he's missing a... <laughs> you don't have an even amount of braids. <laughs> Thank you, Yote. I'm sorry. Your grace, I shall pray for your safe return. Hmm. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. <laughs> oh, she I couldn't miss this. Night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. Oh. Tarius. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or at most two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. <laughs> Most underrated character. She needed more lines. She was so good. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never Blue stopped Boris me here. before. 
So just you do what needs doing. Yeah, and don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. <laughs> That'll be well. Hmm. If that is all. Beyond's like ready. Hop on my wings. Not quite. Chill. Chill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take Tor care of him. Torgo's not coming? I guess, yeah, I guess that makes and sense. You. You take care of her too, boy. We've had him the whole game. His teeth are so white. Don't forget, Clyde. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. <laughs> the expression in his face. I'll be back, I promise. I love you, Jill. Oh. <gasps> the piano. <laughs> Are you going to say back? I know. What? <laughs> I love you. Okay. Too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the fake out. Come on. You can't do that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. That hug. That is like a hug with every part of you. Any hugs are like a bear. She's so tiny. All of the people we helped. It feels like goodbye. All the lives we've impacted. No. We have a god to kill. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Aw, she looks down. The music! On wings. Makes me feel like he's gonna die with how they've done this. Okay. Or Dion's gonna die. I just can't see us making it out of this unscathed. <laughs> oh, it's a battle. Origin. Found her. One crystal to rule them all. Oh my gosh. Hold on, Joshua. Already am. <laughs> An army. no way I'd be able to hold on to that. The G's we'd be pulling? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'd pass out and fall off of him. He's going to make us a way in. The 
This has to take up everything that Dion has left of Bahamut, though. You know, like, we took his icon. I like the like ember it's a, or it's like amber color on Bahamut yellow So this is origin Far cry from heaven. Oh. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our ark. Your architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered. Here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. Mm. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Bahamut, no. Well, there's three of us and one of him. Are pretty good odds. Let's make it count. <laughs> <laughs> Damage back. 
become stronger. <laughs> Try disaster. Thwarted, not defeated. No excitement yet. Thwarted, not defeated. I do feel like it's really cool how they did that because I think this is such an epic fight. I don't think that we could really control them in that. So I'm okay for now, but I know we'll have more to it. And you only surrender. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. Yeah. from a mile away what he was gonna do Dion Dion. Now, Father. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> he knew he wasn't going to make it. <laughs> he was my favorite. Oh, my gosh. I should have brought tissues. I didn't. I know that whenever I do the final episodes, I need to bring tissues. I really thought that was going to be Joshua for a second, which is why I started crying <laughs> even before I saw what Dion did. Clive. Dion's best of men. Clive. <laughs> but he's not defeated no. yet. He's got to be fine. Yeah. <sighs> He's healing. Okay, but what now? Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> Says the guy had a hole in the chest. No, oh, I'll be all right. And the other.
Dion was too good for this world. Take my hand. No, I told you, I'll be... <coughs> Joshua can't die. Thank you. Okay. Are we, did we happen to land near the heart? Or on. Always. Always. All right. What do we do about the thing in his chest, guys? The core? Oh, it doesn't even let you look to the side. I'm sorry about Dion. Yeah. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. I love how in the final moments he's like, it's done, <laughs> father. Should we stop? Not because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clyde. <laughs> I suppose we are. Oh. I love the way they did Joshua's outfit. It's just so well done, and it's a good contrast oh, to Clyde. So cold. So empty. We're close, aren't we? It, uh, seems that way. But I don't want to think what could be waiting for us in there. Yeah. Then think instead of those waiting for us at home. I feel like... <sighs> Since Dion died, I feel like it's good chances both of us will make it out. Like they needed to have one death, so maybe it was Dion. That's not good. The icons. Clive. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Those they, aren't, those aren't icons. They can't be. But they are. Those aren't other icons. Those are other gods. This is the Nexus. A wellspring of life. <laughs> Joshua. Yours and ours, as we watch the world stumble slowly to its dark end, it was here we pledged a new beginning. And now, with the ether we have harvested, I shall raise my kin from their eternal slumber. That together we may usher in a new age of reason. With nobody but yourselves? This was never about creation. Yeah. Only self preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone. Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... He can't take me because I have Joshua, because I'm not alone? Oh, no. Oh. Um. Are those all him or different people? Oh, no. They sacrificed their flesh to become beaten hearts of crystal. The pumped the oh. land's lifeblood from the depths of the earth oh unto my gosh. this very chamber. And thus would they labor still, long after their work was done. They were the crystal. Had you not set them free? You meant for us to destroy the mother crystals. Yes. It's what you wanted all along. Oh my you gosh, you got played like a fiddle. Gratitude, you thought. No. In this you have served us well, 
You have both served us well. Welcome home, brother. We're... Joshua? <coughs> Joshua? <coughs> I thought uh, it was me, but it wasn't my grasp that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. But I'm the last one, and he can't... Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. Oh. You remember the murals? People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain, for he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will, and so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. <laughs> the same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Oh. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, oh. but so is ours. <laughs> and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. No, no. Joshua! <laughs> Oh, Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. <laughs> if the wound does not take me, the curse will. <laughs> this hits so hard if you have a sibling. Like, it's a hard scene to begin with, but if you have siblings, then... I can only imagine losing one of my brothers. I have always been proud 
to call you my shield. <laughs> but now, it is the world that needs you. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> for being my brother. <laughs> Open your eyes! Open your eyes, Jamie! <laughs> Why? Oh, Why did you do this? <laughs> Don't run. We have to kill Ultima, we have to. <laughs> and thus does the final piece fall into place. Okay, we have the to get it together. Prime. But one task remains. The holding on to the faith empty, part. The vessel. <laughs> Except I'm not empty. I'm not empty. Oh. You're not alone, Clive. Oh. That was a real, like, all the scenes are difficult, but the fact that they came together and they reunited only to lose them in the end. Yeah, you got my brother killed. <laughs> of course. That's what you always have. And always will. Hell yeah. On this, my sword I swear. <laughs> Shields the firebird's flame forevermore. Oh. <laughs> Too slow. All right. Ready. Let's see how hard this is going to be. For Joshua and everybody we've lost. Too slow. All right, cast this. Go with lightning spell next. Barely tapped him. Nice. Hit a flames of rebirth. So fall by its hand. It, so it must be cleansed. Mm. 
Pokémon. He's got his strength in his brother. I'm mining caffeine. How is it that your will yet endures? Because it's not so easily broken. Because... But it can be broken. Whoa! And I shall see Whoa! Whoa! For such is my will. Oh my gosh. Oh Try no. It. I don't even know what to do. <sighs> Shoot, that's that's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. Let me get a lightning on him real quick. It's gonna be a slow fight, but that's fine. I can wait. Oh, good damage. Nice. Okay. That was good. I almost feel like his last fight was more difficult than this, but I obviously I know that like it's gonna be so much more Oh my gosh, so many meteors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness Okay Flames of Rebirth I, I mean, I think we'll kill him before we even break this stagger to be honest Oh, get out of that Get out of that. Alright, let's do a hypo. I just did a high potion. I meant a normal potion. Oh no. Shiva, my earbud. Staggered. Strength tonic as well as limit break. Do this. We can kill him. We can kill him. We're actually doing so much damage. Why? What latent force feeds these flames? I sense more here than mere will. Is this Logos? Logos. Have you truly become free? No. I forbid it. <laughs> You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. That's not good. I'm gonna need Ifrit right now. Right I now. I created you, all of you. Oh, and what is mine what? there it is. Is mine to destroy. Oh. Once perhaps, but we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one! <sighs> Come on, Infrit. It's so cool to see the evolution of us being able to change into Infrit, like, on command. Throughout the whole game. Have you learned nothing? Damned is the slave who would turn the spirit upon his master. Have you learned nothing? Yeah. Okay, I gotta remember you guys. I don't remember what I'm doing anymore. I can't remember anything. What is that? Is that the... Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I need to remember how to do wildfire. Wildfire is like a little zoom. Yeah. Dodge. Get in there, smack him around a little bit. I can't see anything that's going on, and neither will y'all. The whole screen's gonna be a mess. Nice. Aurora. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Zoom away, zoom away, zoom away! <laughs> I 
I cannot be the only one that's struggling a little bit with this because there's so much going on in the background. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need my bright stuff. I <laughs> so... feel... Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh shoot. Nice. Come on. Smack him around a little bit. I'll do firelight when we get later. Precision dodge. Counter. Hit him in the back. Nice. We're getting three hits on him. Something. That's not good. That's not good. Get out. Get out. Good damage on him. Get back into his face. Nice. Stagger him soon. Shit. Nice. There we go. Come on. Counter. Whoa. What the heck is that? Get into him. I'm zooming in. Nice. All right. He's staggering. Just hit him with all this. Oops, sorry. Let me remove it. Oh, he's still staggering. Good damage. All right. What is that? The rapture? Zoom. Oh no. With fire shall fire be repaired. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Come on. Zoom in there. Zoom in. Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. He's gonna unlock it and there is nothing I can do to stop this. Purgatorium? Like, that's all my best abilities right there. Oh, gosh. I'm zooming in. 40 seconds? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm precision dodging. I'm just gonna have to like be perfect about this and counter and here we go. Precision dodge through it. How many? How long now? 30? Come on. Zoom in there. Alright, I've got my top. I might not actually get this, guys. I mean, Spitfire's gonna take us damn close, but if that shows 10, we're screwed. Does it show 20 or 10? I 
think I can block that. Oh my goodness. Ow. Come on. Hit him with it. I need to do another firelight. Come on. Okay. Good damage on him. It. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Zoom in. Hit him in the back. Nice. I just run straight into that, don't I? Stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in. Get back in. Decision dodge in. Nice. Temper or half stagger. Come on. I'm not gonna use firelight yet. I'm gonna wait. Do it strong. Alright, back out, back out, back out. Hmm. I'm using a firelight. Oh my goodness. Zoom. Nice. Counter. All right, zoom. I don't know how I keep half baking that. I think it's because I'm not holding it down enough. Oh my goodness. Come on, get in there. Break his stagger bar. That's awesome. That is so awesome. All right, hit him with this. Keep it on him. Okay, I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see because my face is covering it, but he is so close, guys. All right, let me try to hit this real quick. That might do it. That did it. That did it. That did it. Come on. Come on. the blight exposed what you were weak you conceived us to prove otherwise but the results shook you to the core for in us you saw yourself and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be and so you turned your back on your creation your back on the world like the coward you are you think you know me mm. you know nothing logos nothing what there's another part! Another, another part! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. A three-phase boss, of course. Of course, we have to fight all of his versions. You gotta be kidding me. If I get flash banged one more time. Oh my gosh. Bathed in light, I stand above you. My rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. You've got to be kidding me. I quit. Pain, suffering. You have known none of these. But we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. I have to fight him in this form? This form? Okay, I am going to know. I am going to know so much agony, guys. So much agony. I am not excited. 
This is gonna be the hardest fight of it all, I think. I'm just trying to just take him out right away. I'm gonna take a normal potion. He has so much health. Oh, he's got all of it! Gotta close him! Ow! 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 You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Garuda's grab! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I will crush you. I'm staying in the center. Because I think, yeah, as long as we stay in the center during this part, we can hit him through it. Nice, but get back, get back. Yeah, oh no, ow. Okay, that was not ideal. Stagger him real quick. All right, I have my strength. Do ignition. He just has so much health. <laughs> Disgusting. I also didn't put the one thing that I got from Jill last episode on, which would help reduce my ultimate that Shiva has. That's so bad. Come on. Oh wait, hit him with lightning. Nice. Nice. Break that posture bar. Do we have to oh, oh, Yes. He's changing. the last fight would be between all of our icons. Quarrant! Sid. Sid. Earth unyielding. Titan! <sighs> really testing the arms today. Mid. The last will be Jill, I bet. Okay. That was not good. Shoot. Oreo. Rhapsody. I also missed him with all of those. Okay. That wasn't bad. Hit him with this. That sucks that I missed her ability though, because she breaks so much of the stagger bar. Okay. Ah. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm just going to keep backing up on that one. Severance. Oreo. Refocus. Focus on him. Oh, okay. Bahamut, you think you can use him against us? Dion. That's my boy. 
Byron. I thought we'd actually hear Dion. Semi-prime, I guess, Darkness but... Ooh, whose voice is going to be this one? Who is it? Onward, my son. El... My father. <sighs> my father. the altar at which you pray. <laughs> Mine are the eyes that look down upon you all. Limit break? Oh, Yet no. still you cannot see. You he... are no better than us. We are one and the same. He just got his posture bar back, I'm guessing. Not the same. Sounds about right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna pass these back to back. Hopefully, I don't get hit. Deep breath. There we go. Alright, good damage. Like that. Don't love that. Don't like that. I don't even know how to go about precision dodging something like that. <laughs> but I think I did it. <laughs> ashes to ashes. That's bad. Ow. I got wrecked. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Up, she was almost up. Here we go. Is that halfway? We've got to call upon Joshua. Oh, 
gosh. Why? So sure of your place atop the world. You refuse to acknowledge those below. No. You chose to remain alone. Alone. And so you shunned the one thing that could have made you stronger. Uh-huh. Pushed away the hands that could have raised you higher. I do not need you. You are anyone. And that is where we are different. Yes. Yes, that's... I could not have made it here on my own. <laughs> I carry with me the hopes and dreams of my brothers, my sisters. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. Oh, he got it back. Jill, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. Somalia's like we did it we did it. <laughs> Ultima's dead but what does this mean I have no idea oh my goodness <laughs> oh gosh he needs I guess his nails are the least of his concerns Burn it, double tap it, triple tap. Make sure there's no coming back from this at all. There's no coming back. Tell me, what do you imagine will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom? I honestly don't know. Hmm. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Look at the light. Why? <gasps> it's who we are. We fight. We survive. We endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon, ever out of reach, and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Mm. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity on its blackened husk. Oh. 
His eyes are so unnerving. What if it, like, by erasing him, we erased our iconic abilities? And completely removed all of the magic. Joshua was so selfless. Like he devoted his entire life to that. <laughs> oh. I was like, wait, the castle's back. That is hard to see so all like ever yeah all of his i mean he has byron of course but his like immediate family his brother and his father and even his mother are dead <laughs> when he knighted him or made him his shield his baby no oh my gosh we're still in flashback sorry guys i'm acting crazy that was when joshua was born seen a Final Fantasy baby, like up close. My mom's nipple. Sorry guys, I gotta step out after this. has any more tears after earlier.
in that thing. It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. <laughs> for while I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, magic. Consigned to the flames. Ooh, consigned to the flame. Even if it means the end of me. Does that work by you just thinking what you want to see? Like, how does that magic work? Is it like a you think it in your mind? These, these are our terms. Does Twinside go back? Like, what happens to Twinside? Far. Yeah, I think Twinside can go back down. Oh, it's crumbling. Maybe it's going to. Hold on one second. I'm going to step off for one second. Hold on. All right. Sorry, guys. I just, there were so many tears. I just had to take a second. Which there probably is going to be more, so I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Wait, that's... Alright, well, we're just doing credits, you guys, but still. I washed ashore. Jill... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the baby. Aren't you the most beautiful thing? He is his name. What are you gonna call him? Let me see, let me see. Oh, read little one. Got a smile for your uncle. Girl. Now he's an uncle. He said brother, father, oh, uncle. I was only. <laughs> A sky of scattered tears. No. <laughs> a thousand years apart. Should they fade, I will not be afraid of the dark. For your if you need a 
rest I can take him. Oh, we'll do for that. <sighs> the world's yours now. Yours to do with as you please. That's what Sid wanted. That's what they both wanted. <laughs> journey end <laughs> this is good music too oh the icons the icons were so great like they really crushed that I always find it so amazing how they can come up with so many different abilities um, that you use and, and they're all unique and very, um, very specific to whichever icon we consumed. I honestly wish we had Shiva earlier, but that's what made it so great when we had her in the end. I kind of like getting them throughout the game as well because it forces you to definitely, I'm gonna turn down the audio just like a smidge, but it definitely forces you to try out different things and i know that was something you guys were always encouraging to me was because you could respect them and i think i was misunderstanding a little bit what you guys said in comments early early on and then i finally got it like you saw that i would respect it um later and then try something different but yeah it was really i love how they did that system i like how it rewarded you for you don't even necessarily have to farm like you guys saw at the very beginning i'd fight anything in my path and then once we were going like further into it i just didn't feel the need to farm because we were already killing and getting so much xp but i do think it was so worth it doing the side missions like jokes aside or my even like frustrations towards the end it was so good to do those side missions because it really brings to life the world how each person feels um how like so many different perspectives that we often wouldn't maybe think about outside of the main protagonist um i will say like on my personal take on the pacing i'm just gonna remove this room my personal take on the pacing and everything was that i just I think it was it was definitely like bouts of kind of like okay and then whoosh and then do 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 <laughs> right um and i was actually fine with that up until the very end and i was adamant about this in the previous video if you watched the last uh yesterday's video but i do just wish that we had only maybe had our main main characters like jill my brother odin or sorry dion those three and maybe like one or two maybe gaps as well when we came back from fighting um ultima the first time because it just there were 15 when we got back and then there were all these hunt board missions too that we had been like dropped in our lap and so just for somebody who is trying to play it from a completionist aspect i think that that was exhausting to me at least it really like kind of slowed down 
the entire game so that was like the main area where i felt like it pulled for me all the other times of like these highs and lows like rivers and valleys right or um, mountains and valleys it was fine to me like i didn't have an issue with that it wasn't until the very end where I'm like, okay, I want to go do this. Because at that point, you're so emotionally invested in it too. Um, because like you see how everybody in the entire world's being impacted. And you also are like, you hear his grand design and his plan. And I did like in the final battle, I feel like he was a lot more straightforward. And it was so much easier to understand what was happening. I feel like in our first encounter with him, he was just talking a lot of like higher up kind of stuff that I was like, can we just like simplify it? I just need it to be simplified for me. I think that that's perfect for the game's purposes. For me, I just wanted like a, like a dumbed down version, right? <laughs> As to why he was doing this. But the story itself, I think why I like these games is it is so up to your own interpretation. If you want to make it very personal, if you want to tie it to you, like, things in real life you can absolutely do that and you can do it on a scale like you can choose to really dive into the faith aspect that they had there because this whole backing was this like religion this god and all of these things and you can choose to go at it from that way i think i was more looking at it as the overall messages that were coming through and i think i remember saying very early on in this playthrough that um he was gonna lose because he's alone and I feel like that's like a common theme, but loneliness is really hard. Like, and, and we go through bouts of loneliness in our lives, right? Like there's times where, you know, I feel lonely and, you know, I'm surrounded by people. And so that's not necessarily a bad thing to have bouts of loneliness. Um, but when you live your whole life allowing yourself to be alone and isolating and closing off from all of these other things, like at the end of the day, he was alone. He didn't have anybody else. And Clive very much made his whole life about serving others. And I think that that was something that I really liked as being one of the really pinnacle messages at the very end, because I just like from firsthand experience, because I've gone through, like, I know it's crazy to see like now but i've definitely had moments especially growing up it's hard growing up it's hard making friends it's hard um it's hard just getting older and it's hard to hold on to people and also when your life gets busier it's hard to remember to serve others as well and help others and lean on others oh my goodness is it it's because you have to put your pride aside you have to put your pride aside to ask for people to help you and so i just really like that end message that's what i'm choosing to take away from it i love to hear how you guys really perceived it how you felt about it um what i really liked i felt like it really focused on uh companionship friendship relationships this balance of you know, he was still doing something that he believed in and had intrinsic motivation for, but it was also like a lot of his actions were driven by other people. And I think that there is a lot of joy that you can get from doing things for others. So I loved the game from that standpoint. Uh, combat, amazing. The combat was so good. Sorry, I'm getting like, huh. The combat was fantastic. Um, like I said, I loved the use of icons. I feel like it did a really nice spin on like normal combat or like maybe some more conventional combat systems that I've used. I was thinking a lot of like souls, you know. I know I didn't lean too heavy into that inner web of more basic moves. I moves as we got later into the game and we started doing so much damage. I think I really did just kind of become a little icon junkie and I would just do my ultimates, you know. Um, and in that regard, I think I made it kind of boring in fights for myself. I almost like made it more boring because I chose to do it like that. Um, yeah, like I said, just a stellar cast. All of the voices were fantastic. Um, I think voices really do bring to life characters. Like they can entirely make you feel emotions and that connection to that person outside of just the script. The script was incredible. I mean, there were some moments, but I think it's so interesting to see FF7 compared to this. So I've only ever done, as far as Final Fantasy franchise goes, especially if you're popping in to see my, my end thoughts, but maybe you didn't see the very first episode. 
Rebirth. I've only ever played Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1. I'm so excited for Rebirth, woo! Um, but I then moved on to this one because I just fell in love with Final Fantasy and I never was exposed to it when I was younger. And so I'm dipping my toes in. I will be taking a break. I definitely will be taking a break until Rebirth comes out. Um, just because on this channel, like you're gonna see all sorts of things like truly variety, wherever the wind blows. <laughs> um, but I will, it's interesting. I like the environment. I like Clive. I like the characters a lot in this one. But I will say that there's a level of seriousness in this one that isn't really there in FF7. I feel like FF7, obviously there were some serious moments, but it was very playful at the end of the day. And I liked that. It kept it lighthearted, but I still cried for people. I still emotionally felt connected in 7. But I don't want to say like that I like one more than the other because it's really hard to compare. I, I don't know if you guys are. I'm sure y'all are able to compare Final Fantasies at this point, but I think because I'm still so new to them, I don't know if I'm the best at comparing them. I think personally, I did just personally enjoy the lightheartedness and the like bubbliness of FF7's dialogue, maybe just a little bit more than this one. But this one I had to like, it was a weird transition going from seven to this because I had to like allow myself to be okay with the seriousness, you know, because that was all I knew was seven. So I was like, okay, this is more meant to be a serious fantasy game. And I love fantasy more though. So I will say that like I am much more this kind of fantasy style, I guess more uh, medieval. I guess it would be like medieval. Um, yeah, so. I know that's not like a hard answer of which one I prefer more because I know you guys would ask for it. I know you guys would want to know. Um, I'm trying to think of like any of my last thoughts for this as it's closing out. I'm sure I'm going to think of so many things. So please feel free. I think I said this in the intro, but if you guys have any more questions on what I thought about a particular segment in the game, feel free to put it down below in the comment section. Let me know how you guys felt about the ending of the game, especially Joshua's death. Did you guys think that all three of those characters going into there were going to die? I guess thinking about how you're supposed to take down Ultima anyway, I guess you should, I guess we should have realized that all the dominants would have to die as well, or maybe would die, not that they had to. But um, I knew Dion was dying. And then it was like, ugh, Joshua was a ticking time bomb, I guess. Like we kind of should have seen that coming from a mile away, right? But I actually didn't think Clive was gonna die. I don't know why. There was no point where I really, really thought that was gonna happen. Wow, there are so many people that go into this. Graphics wise, I loved. And cinematic scenes, I, I mean, you guys heard me say it like a ton of times, but I really feel like this changed the game for me. And I still haven't seen like everything and I've, there's so many games I still need to play as well. But this one, like knocked it out of the park. I really feel like the future of gaming is so bright from the amount of people that are in it to, oh, we were at the voice actors, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna put one earbud back in. Harpocrates. I need to look up the voice actors, by the way. I need to, yeah, I think all the people underneath are people that worked on it, right? Sorry, I just got completely sidetracked. Um, <laughs> Isabel, Lubor, Eloise, Theodore. Blackthorn was so good. Uh, Zoltan, yes, Zoltan, Quentin. Where is she? Desiree, yes. Anna Demetrio, there she is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I gotta look up, I gotta look up the voice acting. Oh, also let me know if you guys have played the voice, uh, the version with the Japanese, please tell me how that is in comparison because I have heard that the translation and like, it's also vice versa. Like I've heard in Final Fantasy VII, the English dub version, because it was written in Japanese, like the script and stuff, and then it was dubbed to English, it was, like some of it kind of doesn't translate the same um, as it would in the Japanese version. So let me know how, if were there any like, I guess, defining scenes that you felt the feel of it overall played differently in one version versus the other, you know? But additional voices, Italian, that's crazy. So they have all of these voices for all of this. Like that's amazing that they do that as well. The German version, 
Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got to say favorite icon at the end of the day. Oh, man. So Phoenix was always my favorite because of its importance to Joshua. But at the end of the day, my favorite one was Shiva. I think that was pretty evident. I think her cooldowns were good. I think that her ultimate was great at breaking that stagger bar. I think the damage inflicted was there. Um, it was kind of like really well-rounded and I thought it was, I just thought it was perfect from that standpoint. But look at all the voice actor management. Oh my goodness. There's so much that goes into this. And then Sony, ah. So yeah. Um, Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I know I kind of space out when I finish a game. My brain just goes through this loss process. And so I'm going a little blank on all the all the intricate parts that I could talk about my overall enjoyment of the game. But I definitely say that this was a... Ooh, I, I want to say like a nine out of 10. And I know there's a meme that I always do nine out of 10. There were definitely things that I think could have been improved. I like I told you guys about the the pacing for me felt a little off. But the boss fights were some of the best boss fights I've ever had. Um, there was a lot going on in there. And I know I don't know why my camera does the thing where it, it's, it's almost like so much light comes in and then it just blurs the camera. But yeah, the boss fights were incredible. Um, I'm blanking. Enough rambling. Guys, thank you so much as we're finishing up the credits. And I want to see if there's an end scene too. But thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching this. And also for all the people that have recommended Final Fantasy along the way, especially after 7 happened. Had a lot of you guys recommend 16 and it was so worth it. You probably heard me, especially if you've been around since the beginning, you probably heard me talk about how it brought back so many feelings of how I felt when I was playing through Fable. And that's just Final Fantasy in general is there's something about playing FF games and I only have two under the belt to say this, but it just takes me back to when I was younger and I was a kid and there were no worries in the world. And I just was sitting in a little flying saucer or beanbag chair playing on an old Xbox, or I guess it would have been a PlayStation, but I didn't have a PlayStation as a kid. So that's probably why I never played these. Um, but yeah, that's, I think, why it just, it hits really in a special place. I think it just brings back ultimate joy for me. Um, so with that, thank you guys for coming along with me with this. Oh, this song. It was quite the journey. I know it was a lot of episodes, but it was so worth it in every way possible. All of the stories. Uh, so what's next for Final Fantasy? I think a lot of you guys are going to be asking. I, like I just said a couple minutes ago, we're just going to take a break from it. Doesn't mean you're not going to see it ever again. Um, I'm definitely intending to play Rebirth, if not when it comes out, around when it comes out. Um, but yeah, that will be, that will be that. Oh, I love the piano music. Oh, I actually think that they, I hope they get something at game of the, or the game of the year. I don't think, I don't think they're going to get game of the year specifically, but I think that they should get score. Like the score from all the Final Fantasies is some of the best in-game music that I think I've ever heard. It kind of plays on my heartstrings whenever I hear a piano. I talk about this in my To The Moon playthrough or The Bird, A Bird Story, both of those. They just absolutely tug at my heartstrings. Whoa. Okay, we, we're transitioning. Mocap artists. There's so many different pieces. Like animators, producers, lead designers. This is wild. Uh, all right, guys. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just step away for a second because I need to grab a tissue and then I will be back with you guys for if there's an end scene. There is an end scene. There's an end scene. <laughs> Tell me that's a Joshua and a Clive. That's Etta and... Every time. And Gav. Will you light it? Maybe. Yes, mother.
Come on. If only I had the flames of an icon. Icon? Have you been reading that silly story again? <laughs> Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil kettles. You see? Well done. Now, be a good lad, and play with your brother until supper. Come on, hurry, hurry! <laughs> There's right. a pint too. No, that's not, well, that's not Edda, but it's still brothers and above. Right, let's play the saint in the sector. Oh. I don't want to be madder. What do you want to play then? Final what? Fantasy by Joshua oh. Rossfield. Again? Oh, right. And I get to be a freak. <laughs> right, I'm the older brother. Perhaps the harm it says so. <laughs> Joshua wrote a book. <laughs> but where one journey ends, another begins. <laughs> so what's next for Final Fantasy? A falling star. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. I'm out. Bye. <laughs>